Okay, so this video is just a very quick update video for those people who are complaining about having hardware virtualization problems. And for those people who don't have it enabled in their BIOS, um, this is basically a way to bypass the whole problem with that, without having software virtualization. It basically um, just kind of jigs about with a couple of, with the file really, which changes it. And all you want to do is download the folder in the description. It's a zip file, which is about 20 kilobytes big, so it'll take about half a second to download, seriously. And all you want to do is, if you're in doubt, have a look at the README because there's instructions in the README, and there's also contact information on the bottom for me if you want to reach me. And you want to open up the VMware patch for your system. So 32 bits open 32, 64 open 64. I want 64 bits, so I'm just going to open that up. And you can see that we have this little window, and if you scroll up and down, it tells you where you need to look so the files and stuff, which file you want, and you just go apply patch and you'll get file not found, you want to manually select the correct file and press yes and then you just want to go to wherever you installed VMware to, so in my case program files 86 and I want to go into VMware and because I'm on the 64-bit version of VMware I want to go to t uh, the 64-bit folder and then you'll see VMware VMX.exe so this is what you want to patch and you just want to click on that and press open now the reason I'm not pressing open is because I don't want my patching I've already got my sorted out how I want it to be um, but you just pretty much press open and because this piece of software is actually quite buggy like the patch um, I've fixed it so that it works all the time now and it actually does what it's meant to um, whereas before it had several errors but it still sometimes says that it didn't work um, but even if it says that it doesn't work, you want to go and check your uh, virtual machine again to see if it does work because the odds are that it d will work because I've fixed it. So all you want to do is just press open on this bit and then when it says that it's either done correctly or done incorrectly, it doesn't matter which because it will have worked, you want to go through to your um, virtual machine, power it on and it should work. And it is that simple. And I'll just give you a quick look at the other one, um, the 32-bit, uh, and you can see that they're both the same. So there you go, that's how to do that. Um, this is just a very, very quick video that I thought I'd upload because there's people who've been looking for this. So, good luck with your virtual machines. Remember to subscribe, rate, like, and comment. Um, message me if you have any problems, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers for watching.